Good, good, thank you. Good, glad to hear. Um, what was one of the issues you would say when, oh, the bias was going out that time, my bad. What was one of the issues you would say when it came to the run game, particularly in the second and third quarters when it seemed like you guys kind of struggled to get traction going? Yeah, um, the whole game we were, couldn't really get into rhythm, run game wise, consistently. Um, Penn State played a good game and we, we played poor. Um, we need to get a lot better uh, going forward. And, uh, you know, we're going to have a good week of practice this week, and that's what we're going to do. Just as a follow up, um, how do you uh, improve going forward through that? Just going back to the basics, fundamentals. Uh, we lost our fundamentals in this game, and that's that's key for offensive line play. And um, we're going to correct that in practice this week for sure. Jason. Trox, Jason, Auburn 247. Coach Hart just said basically Penn State decided to kind of take the running game away. How important is it to be able to, to, to run the football no matter what you see? Is that one of the things you guys want to lean your hat on is to, to run it no matter what? Yeah, it's it's huge for our offense. Um, run game, being physical up front, that's that's our offense. Um, being able, we should be able to run the ball against any defense and then go from there. Um, and that's our identity as an offense, and that's what we want to be as an offensive line is to be able to run the ball consistently no matter what looks we're getting. Justin. What seemed to be kind of the issue with you guys in the past picks? There were a few times they had Penn State had like three rushers right after, right after quarterbacks. Was it communication? Like what, what, what kind of went, went on, especially on those plays when they just had guys getting unblocked? Well, it all depends on the, the protection that we're in, um, more schematically than anything. Um, some protections, I mean, we only got five guys blocking. If they bring more than that, quarterback knows he's hot. He knows that. Uh, it just depends on the protection that we're in. Um, but it all goes back to fundamentals and pass protection and run blocking. Uh, we just didn't play clean on Saturday, and that was the main issue. Um, Arson was saying that with the quarterback position, he's still kind of unsure. I guess who would be the starter, how that's going to go. What have you seen with quarterback play through three games so far? I mean, no matter who's back there, our job is to protect them. And that's all we can do. I mean, our job is just to give them a po clean pocket and they deliver the ball. We don't really pay much attention to anything else other than that. Charles, we want to look at, at Missouri's defense. Um, Ours said, you know, kind of the, from the same tree as you saw last yeah. week. Do you see some, some similarities to what yeah. you saw last week from Penn State? Yeah, I mean, there's similarities uh, between the two defenses and they're big up front. Uh, we got to be ready to play on Saturday for sure. Mark. Uh, Trox, uh, you guys played late night, played mid afternoon, <coughs> now the morning kickoff. Do you have like a preference? Uh, it all depends. Um, depends on how I'm feeling that day. Uh, but it, it don't matter for me. Game day is game day. Uh, you got to get your mind right no matter what time you play. And we're going to be ready to kick off at 11 a.m. So we'll play whenever. We'll be ready. Is it interesting to get to play Missouri? Yeah, I think the last time we played it was my right year here in 17. Um, and I didn't make that trip, obviously. Um, but yeah, it's a different opponent that we I haven't faced. Um, but there's similarities in the defense that we played last week and this week. So we'll be we'll be ready after a good week of practice this week too. You guys, as a group, how important is it to rebound and have a strong week after after last week? Yeah, it's huge. I mean, anytime you go out there and put a performance on the field that you're not proud of, um, it's huge to bounce back, um, especially the schedule we play uh, to get back on track. And I believe I have faith in this team and the leadership we have uh, that we're going to do that. Brian, what do you think it says about you personally, Austin, that here you are, maybe after the offensive line didn't have their best game, maybe you didn't have your best game, but here you are in front of the media, you know, willing to take questions and talk about it. It is what it is. I mean, when you don't put a performance out there that, like I said, you're not proud of, um, all you can do is go back and get better and work, and that's what we're going to do. Anything else? Lou Stewart, the Plainsman. There was a lot of emotions on Saturday, and going into practice this week, how do you keep those emotions in check going into SEC play, knowing that there is a lot riding on this game, essentially? We just got to flush it. Learn from it. That's what we did yesterday. Watch the film, uh, correct it on the field. You got to learn from it, and flush it, and move on. This league is really competitive. Um, it's the toughest league in college football. Um, can't let a team beat you twice, and that's that's what we're we're focusing on. And got to bounce back. We got le good leadership, like I said. Um, I got all the faith in the world in this team, and we know what we can do. 
Um, we just got to go out there and execute. All right. Thanks, Rob. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks.